Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a outline around a shape in Procreate 5. Now I have a video already on the earlier versions of Procreate, but the way that we did it has sort of broken with Procreate 5. It doesn't work nearly as well as it did. So I'm going to show you how to outline an object in the new Procreate 5. To start off here, I'm just working with my monoline brush. I have a video on creating your own monoline brush if you're interested in it. The monoline brushes just draw as a single line. Now I'm going to draw a sort of heart shape. Just going to hold down and just wait for Procreate to catch up with me. So we've got this sort of interesting shape. Having created my shape, I'm now going to drop the color into it. So I'm picking up the pink color, just holding it over the shape and making sure that the threshold value is quite high. Otherwise, you'll find that you get little gaps around where the line had been. So you want to bring it up as high as you can without actually filling the entire document with the color, which is what I just did. I'm just going to resize my heart at this stage. Now we're going to the layers palette and we're going to add a brand new layer and we're going to change the color to black or whatever color it is that you want your outline to be. We're going back to the heart shape now that we've set everything up and we're going over to the select tool and we're going to choose automatic and just drag over the heart so that we're selecting the heart. Go down to the feather option and increase the feather amount. I think that for a small outline, around six is sufficient. If you want a thicker outline, then make it a larger value. The result you can see on the screen is that there is a sort of feather around this shape. We'll go back to the layers palette. We're going to target the layer that is empty and we're going to fill it with black. Because we've got a selection in place, we'll just tap the layer menu and choose fill layer. Now that gives us a black heart, but you can see really clearly that this is really fuzzy and therein lies part of the problem. So we're going to leave the black heart layer selected. We're going back to the selection tool here. We're going to stay with automatic, but this time we're going to tap outside the black heart because what we want to do is select everything on the outside. And we also want to make sure that the threshold value is small enough. So I'm going to do that again just moving my finger outside the heart itself and just wind the threshold value back to somewhere around four or five percent. You know, you just want to start eating into that fluffy feathered area. So now we've got selected everything outside the black heart, which is a little bit bigger than the red heart was. Well, we're going to tap on invert. And when we invert that, we've got the selection that we want. Now we'll go back to the layer menu, target the black layer here, and again, choose fill layer. And immediately you'll see that the outline is now much, much more solid. It's not feathery. And that has to do with how we made that selection. And we're sort of effectively on the second selection, knocking back the feathered area. So now we can go to the red layer as we did in my previous video. We're going to select it and this time we can just use this select option. Now we'll go to the black filled layer and we'll choose clear. And what you're doing then is you're removing the red area from the black area. If I turn off the red area, you'll see that we've got a nice outline shape. And what I like to do with these outline shapes is just to choose the select tool and just knock them slightly off. So you get this sort of slightly off register look. But you can do whatever you like at this point. You may want your outline to stay where it is. You may want to add it as a sort of additional element to your shape. If you want to see how a slightly thicker line will work, let's have a look at this now. I've got my heart shapes. I'm going to add my new layer. I have black as my fill color. I'm going back to my heart shape, back to the selection tool. I'm on automatic, so I'm just going to drag over the heart shape. I'm going to add a feather, and this time I'm going for around 10 or 11%. Go back to the layer, tap the layer flyout menu, and choose fill layer. And of course, everything is fluffy, and we would expect that. Go back to the selection tool, select over the outside here, and again, we want this really low threshold value. Once we get the selection we want, we're going to invert it and go back to the black filled layer and again fill it because that's going to harden up the outside edges. 
Now, if you see a slightly fluffy edge at this stage still, something that you want to firm up a little bit more still, this is what you're going to do. You'll go back to the selection tool and go back to selecting on the outside. And again, use a really small threshold value. Right now, mine's at about 7%. You've selected the outside, this is the fluffy side. Go back to your layer, go back to the layer menu and choose clear and that's just going to wipe out the very slightly fluffy edge if you find that you've got one. We'll go back to our pink layer and choose select. We'll go back to our black layer and choose clear and that's giving us our black outline now. It's not perfect because obviously around the dent in the heart, we're getting a little bit of a sort of rounded effect rather than a firm, sharp effect, but it is an outline and it is created in Procreate. It is reproducible and it is fairly easy to achieve. So I hope that this video has been of help to you that you can now add outlines to shapes in Procreate 5 and hopefully it's going to stay that way and continue to work for a time yet. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.